cars. Gotta love it. All right, so job for today was to try and maybe have a bit of a play with this thing and just see if we can figure out what's going on with it. Um, I'm thinking I might uh, take all this intake off and just see what he was doing with the rocker cover and get all that put back on properly. Just got to get that pinched pinched cable out of there. Obviously that's why it's not sealing and pissing out of oil down here. Um, so we'll do that and go from there. I'm hoping it might be like a sensor or something causing that that rough idle. Um, I've got a, I do have an O2, uh, not an O2, a OBD2 scanner, OBD2 scanner somewhere. Um, but I was going to borrow one, a little bit better one than I've got. I've just got a little piece of shit Wi-Fi one. But if I can find the Wi-Fi one, I'll give it a go and just see if it's showing me anything. So we'll um, get some tools and yeah, we'll make a start and I'll move in this intake and go from there. Just had a little quick look for the scan tool and I found this one. This is the one I've got. It's not compatible with iPhone, but... Um, I've got an Android inside, so I might um I might even do this before I make a start and just see see if it's doing anything. I'm not sure if it'll throw a code without starting the engine. Um, we'll give it a go because I know the battery's flat again. I didn't get to charge it last time. I went to um put this battery in my car with it running and take it for a drive and give it some charge. But this style of battery, it's got the big feet on the bottom they don't slide into the um factory air box well not air box but the box that surrounds the battery um, so it wouldn't slide into mine and i couldn't just take that box out because i've got a um a power lead there for my car stereo and i've bolted that the fuse for it to the uh, battery tray or the surround so it would have meant i had to unbolt the fucking uh, fuse and piss fart around which i wasn't doing couldn't be fucked so, yeah, I'm gonna have to try and I don't have a um, battery charger, so I might I might even buy a battery charger to recharge this. Plus, I've needed it in the past, like recently, so I might it might be worth just investing in one and give this some charge because hopefully we can bring this back to life and not have to buy another one. See how we go. But yeah, we'll give this a crack and see what happens. So we got the. Uh coil cover off he left the bolt out at the back so he hadn't put that back on properly but yeah the issue is just this uh injector yeah the wiring for that injector stuck under the uh rocker cover and that goes in oh it's actually going into the throttle body it's wedged in there pretty well i don't know if you can see it um so yeah, that's obviously not going to be a good thing. <clears throat> we'll get the cover off and then um, I just want to get it off, have a little look underneath and then um, sort that out. So we'll keep going. All right, we've got all the bolts out. So two T40 bolts on the front. These torque bits. And uh, the rest are all just 10 mil. I've uh, undone the coil packs. So they're ready to go. Um, there's a bit of sludge on the bolts that come out, so yeah. Um, I assume it's going to be quite sludgy inside. But we'll get the cover off and have a look. All I can say is wow. Yeah, serviced every 5,000, meticulously maintained. Very fussy owner. Um, yeah, that's. Uh, that's fucked. <clears throat> Hella sludgy top end. That's from just not changing the oil. Um, I've picked off some actual thick bits of sludge, which have just turned into um, biscuits. So if you like chocolate biscuits, you can go to town. But yeah, I'm not worried about that because I do have another engine. Um, so it's not really an issue for me. 
But um, I was hoping to maybe leave this one in and just get it running, getting it, getting it um, running well again. I mean, this can, you know, you can clear off as much as this as you want, and then, um, well, <laughs> and then um, do a lot of regular oil changes, and it will improve a lot of this. But um, yeah, it's not ideal. A uh, good thing is it doesn't look like he's come in here and tampered with any of this. So my original theory of these being uh, moved to different spots is probably, um, yeah, irrelevant. But I'm just going to, because it's how it is, I'm just going to put the rocket cover back on. I'm going to check out that uh, those wires first, make sure they're not um, split or anything like that. Um, I did find a sensor in the back of the car for the, um, oh, I think it's, I don't know, is yeah that sensor i can't remember what it is off the top of my head um and i know that's a common problem with some of them the wiring gets um mank manked out and shorts out and causes that to um have issues there and that i found a, a spare one of those um there it is there that sensor there in the back of the car so i don't know if he's had a crack at that or what but i'll check the wiring on that because i know that's a common thing and see how that is but yeah i'm just going to put the rocket cover back on because I'm not, like I said, I'm not too fussed about this engine. I'm going to have a little play with it, see if I can get it going through it, see if it's throwing any codes. And um, if not, yeah, I'll, I'll just pull the whole thing out and just swap it out. So, yeah, I've got the other car to pull the other engine out of. So I don't want to spend, you know, too much time on this. I will get some of the gunk out, just what I can pick off by hand, but nothing too fancy. And, um, yeah, put the cover back on and go from there. So it's all back on. I uh, got out as much of that gunk out of the rocket cover as I could. Nothing fancy. Just scraped it all out with a screwdriver and flicked it out of there. Shit loads in there. So I just got out what I could. Um, but it's all back together now. Um, that wire's not pinched anymore. I checked the wiring on the back there on that um, sensor, but that's all good as well. Just need to put some new conduit on that, which I'll put some better stuff than that on there anyway. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give it a scan now um, and see if it throws up any codes. So I think I'll leave the um, coil cover off for now. Um, I'll probably just sit the intake lid back on just so nothing goes into the throttle body there. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll see if we get anything. I might take the battery out and take the one out of my car, chuck that in just so I'm not piss farting around with jumper leads. See how we go. I've just moved the beast around, so we'll... I couldn't be bothered taking the battery out. So I've just moved my car around and we'll chuck some leads on it and see if it'll start. See what happens. <coughs> We have ignition. What the hell? Where's the noise gone? What the hell? Uh, well, that started, and the noise is gone. And it's revving smoothly. We've got engine light, but we can scan for that. What the hell? That noise has completely gone. <clears throat> what the hell? I turned mine off. Because I've got a noisy pulley, as you can probably hear. And my power steering pump. It's a 
lot. That actually sounds not too bad. I'm sure the other video picked it up, but there was a knocking noise coming from it before, which is now gone. <coughs> wow, okay. So what I might do, I look at how the gasket was in the best condition, so I'm not sure how well it's going to seal. But that's a bloody good thing. Um, don't want that to touch. Right off. Um, what I might do is I'll let it run for a while and try and give the battery some charge. I don't think it leaks oil. I'll just chuck something in the it in. That's a very good sign. Um, I was thinking of the tank engine swap 100% to make life easy, but that's a very good sign. So I'll uh, get the scan for a while and see what we come up with. I've been sitting in here for about five minutes now, just letting it run. Um, the ticking noise has come back in the engine, but it's only very slight. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up. And the engine has some sort of like idle issue, so it's creeping up, but it's not enough to, to even show up on the um, on the taco. But it's just sort of going up and down. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up. But yeah, obviously something's wrong. That's why we've got the engine light on. But um, it's a lot quieter than it was the other day. And we haven't done anything to it, except take that rocker cover off and unpinch those wires. Now that will throttle, throttle. Sorry, just trying to, there we go. Steering wheel was pulled right out. Uh, there were only the throt throttle body throttle body wires that were pinched. So such a horrible stereo. We'll chuck a scan on it and see what we get. All right, I've had to quickly get ready for work because yes, unfortunately, we have to make money somehow. Um, but I'm just going to quickly see if I can give this a scan. Um, I don't even know how you use this thing and the battery's gone flat again from sitting there so um, yeah we're gonna have to um, just uh, oh, it's actually got we're gonna have to just see what we can do if not um, I've got another scan tool that I can use but we'll just have to wait for that so I'll see what it's doing. I've got the key on already. I'm trying to pick it up. There we go. I'm assuming I'm going to have to start the car, but we'll see how we go. It's taking its sorry ass time. I'm just hoping it might show me some codes that are already stored in the ECU. Alright, so it's saying two engine faults. Let's have a look. Camshaft position, actual ignition over advanced, blah, 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 blah. So there's one. So both the same codes. Alright, well that gives me something to look at while I'm at work. Um, so yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. And I'll suss it out when I'm at work. Time to get ready for work and we'll come back tomorrow.